Graham, your assessment? Very, very, very disappointing. I think we got outclassed, outplayed, uh, outfought. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, you made quite a sort of purposeful walk over to the fans at the end, as if to say, look, thanks for your support. I'm, I'm, was it almost an apology? It seemed, you were... No, I don't apologise, no. but I love the fans. I love what they are. Uh, I w I'm, I'm not here to hide. Uh, I know today wasn't good enough. Nobody needs to tell me. It's a realisation of where we are, because that's what we've got. Mm. Uh, but I'm, I'm not disappearing down the tunnel. No. Mm. I, me personally, I work my backside off every day to try and make Luton as good as we can be and at the minute it's not working so I wanted to face it up for that reason nothing else no, that's ab absolutely fair enough um, I mean you made the changes as well um, so you're you're trying to shuffle the pack you're doing as much as you can well last week we were short mm. and this week we were short mm. Now, I live in, I'm in a privileged position now that I've seen every single one of our players play championship football. And I know everybody's capabilities, I know what the league is, and I'm very, very clear where we are and what has to be done. Which would allude to changing personnel come the January transfer window? Well, I think you've got to get... You know, we've got to negotiate six weeks first. Mm. I'm not, I'm not a fool, I know the game. I'm not, uh, I don't kid myself. Um, but if we do well enough to get to the January transfer window, we'll need to, we'll need to be stronger. Because you've seen Reading, who are close to us in the table, mm. table, how strong their individuals are and how much quality they've got. And we, today, were short. Now, Izzy Brown's a big player for her. You can't hang your hat just on one. Other people have to come in and produce. And today we didn't. Seems the shoulders dropped a bit, heads dropped a little bit at 2-0, at and mm -hmm. they tried in the second half, but the Reading keepers had a relatively trouble-free afternoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when you get one shot on target, it defines where you are. Mm -hmm. And previously, we've always been a threat. Today, we weren't. So now, we've conceded three goals, and we're not scoring. So we need to remember what we are, and obviously I don't, I, I've never wanted to concede the goals we've been conceding, but let's go down to detail about it. Set piece, mm -hmm. we're, okay. we're in possession mm -hmm. in the final third, so transition, mm -hmm. counter attack, and a mistake. Mm -hmm. So it's nothing about organisation or units or tactical, or everybody needs to take responsibility. Mm. Every individual, me included, and we need to do something about it because we've got a, a really, really heavy period coming up in two weeks' time. That's why the players are in tomorrow. There's no hiding place, no rest for anybody. We have a responsibility to this football club and them supporters who turned up today again and supported the group. I can assure you we're doing our best. At this minute in time, we're a little bit short. And just to tidy up on the changes, um, obviously two were on the bench, Izzy Brown's injured. Sonny Bradley left out? I wanted to give Sonny a break from it. Uh, I wanted to take him out the firing line. Uh, me and Sonny had a, a long conversation yesterday. He knows my reasons and he'll be ready for the, the, the game against Leeds after the next international break. As simple as that. And that's quite a good one to have in, if anything is going to get you going, then in a Leeds at home they should lift themselves from that. Well, if you can't look forward to them games, then what was the point in getting promoted? So, but we need to start the game with a, a completely different outlook. Now, mentally we've been starting games with our glasses being half full. <gasps> if, we, if we concede what we're going to do, I've never asked for that. I've spoke about front foot football, mm. being positive, taking responsibility. Today we didn't. And against Leeds, I can assure you, we better. Thank you. Thank you. No, Mike, I've explained it. I don't have to go over it. He was taken out the firing line because some of the things you've saw today has happened to other players. And he was taken out the firing line. It's a saturated period. And no more than that. Nothing wrong with him. I wanted to refresh him. I think Lloyd-Jones did okay when he came in, but it's not about Lloyd-Jones, anybody else. 
Sonny knows this, the script, I spoke to him privately and it was for today's game, he knew that. That's where we were after last week's game, not just Sonny. So um, that was the reason why. I think he did okay. I've been I've liked Lloyd from the minute I've came to the club. If Lloyd Jones has played a hundred games, we've got a different performance. That's where we are at this club. Now you look at Morrison, who was at Birmingham. You look at Liam Moore. You look at the other centre half. They've, they've got games behind them. That's a championship and higher. We haven't got that. And days like today are going to happen. Where are we in the league, Mike? Where are we? Fourth bottom still. We can go beat. We're still in, we're in a fight. Nothing's changed. We have to dust ourselves down. We have to relish the challenge. We have to move forward. We need to show courage, which we're not, we didn't do today, and look forward to the challenge. And that's where we are. Let's say you were in the game in the first 20 minutes. I mean, Marcel Penny to the shot, James Collins just wide as well. Um, so there were chances there, at all. We started the game really well, and then the, then they scored, and the mentality felt sorry for ourselves. What we're going to do. Not enough attacking threat. Jim, uh, Luke Bolton's attacking in the right wing slot and we'll lose it, concede from there. So, make no mistake, I know where we are. And three individual errors today for the goals. I can't, I can't defend set pieces. I can't defend a counter attack. And I can't make mistakes at the back when you're the last man. So everybody needs to take responsibility for the situation. And we need to stick together, and we will. But we need to be honest. I've never gone away from that. We need to be honest about the situation and how realistic it is. We're in a relegation <coughs> fight, and we need to roll with sleeves up. We need to do better than we did today. Did you replace Sterling at half-time for Shivers? That's because maybe he got caught out for that, that second goal. Well, well he's, looks a young man who's going to be a very, very good player making mistakes in our first team because that's where we are as a club because we can't spend £5 million on a right wing back who's, who's played 150 games in the Championship. So the learning in our first team, learning in our first team, Man City will be delighted that he's making mistakes in our first team because when, they go back, when he goes back to Man City, he'll be a better player. Now, that's where we are in the market. I knew the script when I came in and he needs to learn from the day, like other players needed to learn from last week. And that's why I made some decisions. My, you know me, I look at my conscience, I have got no qualms about any decisions I made because I didn't turn away from it, it was the right thing to do. And I need to make the same decisions based on what I'm seeing, mentality of the group, physicality of the group, quality of the group, when the Leeds game comes up in two weeks' time. Yeah. Alan's, Alan's a wonderful footballer, wonderful footballer, but he got caught for the goal, he's an experienced guy. I love Alan Sheehan, he's, he's a, a great footballer, but can't make mistakes like that. That's, that's his strength, his technical ability, he can't. So, that's disappointing. The second half frustration that you couldn't maybe really get that tempo going and create any real chances? Well, we didn't, is the truth. No Izzy Brown and no threat. That's the truth, no threat. My disappointment is other people don't take responsibility for that. You get an opportunity, there's not one person can come and see me and say, why am I not playing against Leeds? Not one person. So that's where we are, been here before, just need to make sure that we are ready for the Leeds game. And James Collins, I do plenty of work all over the pitch, really. Would you rather see him maybe a bit further forward? Yeah, but is he's injured? So I can't get him further forward. I know Jim's going to give me a massive level off the ball, and that's what he did. I wanted to play with two wider strikers down the side of their back three, and there was tactical reasons. Remember, players have to implement and execute your tactics. Today it worked for the first 15, 20 minutes, and then we conceded three stupid goals through individual errors, and there's no way back. So we need to understand that's, that's where we are as a club, that's the truth, and we need to make sure that we use all the qualities we've got, including getting everybody fit, ready for the Leeds game. That, that sense of them feeling sorry for themselves after the, the first goal, in your experience, how easy or difficult is that to change? Well, you can change it, but um, some, some players, James, don't need any psychological help. Sports psychology we're talking about. Some people don't need any. Now, I've worked at every level. 
and without ever revealing names, we've used sports psychologists through the years. Some people can repair themselves and sort them, some people need help. And we're at a point now where maybe we're gonna have to think about going down that route because um, even if you look at last week's goals, Nottingham Forest didn't Nottingham Forest didn't create their two goals. We give them today. We give them three goals. So it's an area that I look at uh, deeply. It's an area that I understand. It's a reality of the mental step in the championship, which I keep speaking about from minute one. And it's an, an area that we haven't overcome yet as a group. You have someone that you used before then that you possibly go to. Absolutely. I mean, I want to assess the boys when I speak to them myself, and then we'll take it from there. And Izzy Brown is. We've got two weeks now to hopefully get him back on the pitch. Is that likely? Uh, I hope so because we missed his quality, we missed his presence. But it's you know it's not just about Izzy Brown, James. Oh, we've got 24 professionals. The other 23 need to take responsibility as well for that performance. And today they didn't.